Welcome to the first introductory video for my upcoming series called The Zoomtown Experiment. I'm really hoping you'll be a part of it. Transportation plays a very important part of our lives and it is currently undergoing a large transformation from what it has been for the last century. While pondering these changes, my curiosity got the best of me, which was the genesis for the Zoomtown experiment. I propose that automating the transportation process is far safer and far more efficient than using human drivers. Now don't get me wrong folks, I love my muscle cars from the 1960s, I love driving, and I really don't want to give that up. But let's face it, changes are a coming. This experiment will explore some of the concepts that may be used in a near future automated transportation system. Within our experiment, you can already see the tiny little workers going about constructing Zoomtown. Zoomtown will be where all the experimenting will play out. I'll cover that in much more detail in another introductory video coming up soon. Robot cars, which we'll be calling Zoomies, will be uh, randomly traveling around from place to place and at random times, hopefully without crashing into each other or falling off the edge of the world. In keeping with the style of this channel, I will start out by presenting and testing sensors and other devices that may be used overall in this experiment. Then as the design starts coming together into sub-assemblies, coding and further experimentation will take place before we go on to the full system. Finally, the entire system is going to be brought together where everything has to work together for a safe and efficient automatic transportation system. I suspect we will experience an awful lot of failure crashes and other distress during this process. Besides loving my muscle cars, I love working with a Raspberry Pi Pico and that is what I have chosen for the controller of the Zoomies. I have no idea if it is up to the challenge or not, but that is part of the fun when exploring and experimenting. While successes are the goal, failures are almost certainly assured. With so much that can go wrong, it should prove to be an entertaining experiment and experience for all those involved. In the coming weeks, I will be posting a few more introduction style videos to explain this experiment in further detail before we actually get started on it. There's many, many components to this, and I think a fair introduction is in order before we get into the details. You may want to subscribe so that you don't miss out on anything. A lot of this early information is setting the playfield for the entire series that will be the Zoomtown experiment. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.